Uh, before I want to do this unboxing, as you guys see in the thumbnail, uh, before I want to open something, uh, at uh, eBay for the last few days ago, uh, I managed to get my hands on the uh, the uh, Super Mini Paw, or I should say the Mini Paw of the uh, King of the King Oger Mecha that I got. So this is actually the Tarantula Knight. Um, King Oger comes with a Guardian Weapon set around here, as you could see. Uh, it comes with all the Guardian Weapon sets, and here's the Tarantula Knight, though. So I had a, so yeah, it did came in um, uh, th three days ago during Monday. So I finally managed to pick this up, though. So I, so good thing I managed to finally get it in my hands, though. So I did bought this on sale, though. So and these are, and. And I finally managed to pick up a mini plot that I've been finally completing though. So I finally managed to complete my King Oger mini plot line though. So I'm very happy with that. I might buy more mini plots, not just King Oger, but some of the other rest of the mini plot sets from other Super Sentai though. So yeah, on to the unboxing though. So this game did came out a few years ago during uh, 2021 though. So it's been like, um, it's been like oof, uh, three years now though. So here's the... Uh, here it is. This is the uh, Biohazard uh, Village, the Z version. This is the Collector's Edition. Uh, you know, uh, I had to buy this one. And just so you know, this, just so you know, this came in the same day that I bought uh, the mini plot I got. So that's why I want to do this unboxing, though. So I'm very happy to pick up the Japanese version. As you can tell, this is the Resident Evil Village of the Japanese version. And, now I'm gonna crack it open to see what's inside here. Now, at first I didn't really want to buy this game though, since you know after the, I didn't really want to buy this game at that time though, just because you know I want to get this on sale. But when I saw this on eBay, it, it had a pretty good pricing though, so I had to pick it up though. So I'm very happy that uh that I got it. I not not just that, but I wasn't really because you know after. You know, after Resident Evil 3, I decided not to buy it, but when I saw some of the gameplay and some of the extra lore of the game, I decided to pick it up, though, so I'm very happy to get it, though, so, you know, this is actually, like, a Biohazard, uh, Biohazard 2 remake, though, so, yeah, so, yeah, I'm gonna be very careful opening this one, though, since... Since this does get a little harder for me to open, so there we go. And here it is. Uh, I just want to be extremely careful. This this is an older game. I did bought the uh, gold edition of the uh, Resident Evil Village, but I had to buy this one though, since like I said, it was on sale on eBay though, so I finally got it. So here's what the uh, here's what it looks like right here. This does this does look like an attached case and an an item box though. So yeah, this is a very similar collector's edition, like the one from uh, Resident Evil uh, uh, Biohazard 2, though. So yeah, I, just so you know, I'm planning on buying more of the Biohazard games from the PS1, though, since most of them are uncensored, though. So here's what the uh, here's what the item box slash the attached case look like, though. So yeah, and I want to read what's inside here, though. So it comes with the Biohazard Village uh, Z version, the uh, DLC, BGM, and art book and a reversible poster and a steel book which is pretty nice so so yeah like i said i buy the japanese version just because of the different content though so here's what the inside looks like right here though so i think i know what this is um just so you know um so yeah there's all the dlc pack which i'm not going to show off though since you know i just want to be very careful with this so since this dlc might have expired already Here's the physical copy of the game, and here's the steelbook, which is well packaged. Though I do appreciate the Japanese version giving us a well packaged steelbook, though. So I'm gonna open this one as well. See if I try not to. So here's what the steelbook looks like around here. Yeah, like I said, this is an old game, but I finally got it. So there's nothing on the inside here either. So it looks cool on the front and the back, though. And here's the uh, physical copy of Biohazard of uh, Biohazard Village, though. So this is the Japanese import, as you can see right here. This is the Z version, and you can tell by the warning labels here. So yeah, I. So yeah, this is very similar that I got from Resident Evil, Resident Evil Biohazard Two, or or as you call it, though. So yeah, uh, here's the uh, 
Here's the uh, poster, I believe. I mean, I here's the... I believe this is actually a map, though, so I'm trying to be very careful. I genuinely want to be careful with this one, though, so... Uh-oh. It's just that some of the package can be a bit fragile, though, so. Yeah, uh, here's what it looks like around here. So, yeah, this is an old game, but I had to buy it, though. So, yeah, here's the um, map, I believe, though. So, what it looks like. And here's the back of it, though. So, it looks really... It looks really brand new though after you open it though so i'm very happy to get get my hands on it though since you know i've been wanting this collector's edition for a while like i said i bought the japanese version just for some uh, unique content though i am gonna buy more of the japanese version of the video games though very soon though since you know i really i really getting the kick out of this one though so here's what it looks like on the inside sorry and uh here's the uh and here's also the art book, though. So uh, this is a bit of a different art book, though. Here's what the art book looks like on the inside, though. So yeah, here it is. Here's the back, which I'm not going to show off too much, though, since they're... And here's the inside. And it do smells pretty good for an art book though, so hope it doesn't smell like mold. Just kidding, it's I was just I was it's such a shit joke, I know. It's just I'm trying to poke fun at it though. So here it is. Here's the art book around here, so I'm very happy with this. And uh, you know, on to the last part of the of the collector's edition is the statue though. So um I hope I can uh, get this thing out. You know what? I'm just scratching out. I'm gonna go down like this. And here's the uh, statue of uh, Chris Redfield, though, or Chris Punching Boulder dumbass redfield though so it's a bit of an inside joke though so yeah i did play a uh, resident resident evil village though since you know i did it's a bit of a spoiler though since if you already played the game you know what i mean though so yeah here's the chris redfield statue So I finally managed to complete some of the collector's edition I got though, so here it is. Whoa. Since you know, you guys remember in uh, Resident Evil uh, Resident Evil 7, the Chris Redfield uh, model, the uh, face model for Chris Redfield has changed a lot since in the original, in the original Resident Evil games, his, his uh, character model is still similar, especially throughout the games. But in the, uh, in the seventh game, they really changed the face model though, since they couldn't find they couldn't find the resemblance of what Chris Redfield looks like in the in the game, though. So yeah, I'm gonna. Here's a stand here. Just want to be very. Just want to be hella careful with this. So. Uh oh. So here's the stand around here. This is actually a signature stand where he's actually part of the BSSA, the BSAA, I believe. 
though. So I'm trying to be very careful with this statue though, since you know, this is really brand new. Um, this is actually like any other standard collector's edition you pick up though. So I'm trying to be very careful with this. Yes. So this is my first time looking at the Chris Redfield statue. I wish it was an Ethan statue. And here's his a signature uh, pistol around here, his customized weapon. And you just put it in here and um, hope I don't break this. Jesus, this, this does scare the hell out of me though a lot. Got it. So here's what it looks like for a Chris Redfield statue. So I'm very impressed with this collector's edition. And you know, this is an old game in my, that I bought. And I might have showed you um, a year and a half ago that I did bought the gold, the gold edition of the Resident Resident Evil Village though. So I don't want to get over that though. So yeah, that's all for this unboxing though. What do you guys think though? Let me know in the comments below. Like, fair, share, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, comment any questions. I know this is a bit of a longer video though, since you know, I want to show the full detail of this. This is, this is an old game that came out though, but it's better late than never since I got it on sale, like I said though. So yeah, and I hope you guys enjoy the videos. I'll do more unboxing like this around this week though i won't be doing a lot of shopping though as much though since can comic con is coming up very very fast though so i want to save it for the best though save the best for last though so yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoy the videos and see you guys next time peace the fuck out